Well, hello guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys today about testing all your outlet a separate course in your house today. Uh, disclaimer today is going to be if you do this yourself, it's very dangerous. By the way, I recommend calling an electrician because they're certified to do all this kind of stuff because a 240 volt electrical can also, 110 can also be le lethal and dangerous, by the way. I'd recommend testing your outlets every year just to make sure they are working properly. I'd recommend getting a tester like this one. This tester here has an open ground, open hot, open neutral, hot and ground mix, and, and hot and neutral mix, and also the proper lights, by the way, are on the top. And by the way, the only thing I want to talk to you guys today is the outlet except for court itself. Do not use the push-in connectors because I've seen this many times with my experiments with electricity. And I always use the terminal screws on each side of the outlet. Do not use these because over time, these devices will come loose over time when you push them in and out of the wall. And by the way, we got the outlet we're going to test over here on the wall. By the way, we're going to unplug one of my freezers on here and test the outlet just to make sure it's correctly grounded. And you see it's now correctly grounded. I would recommend testing both the top and bottom outlets. This is my early view of my outlet tester. This is a very handy outlet tester. And let's go all the way over here to the on side of my garage. Over here we got some more outlets. Let's go ahead and test this outlet. It is also properly grounded. Let's go ahead and test the on bottom. And we got both lights cooked on now. Let's go on to this side of the garage. Test this outlet. And we got a perfect ground there as well. Now the reason why this outlet tester is so great is when you're testing your equipment in your house, your house is electrical can be quite dangerous if you don't have one of these handy testers by the way. These testers are very great on testing the priority of your outlets and your whole entire house here. And by the way, I'm on down in my garage testing out my outlets, making sure everything is correctly grounded properly and stuff like that. This is just my standard uh, standard a uh, standard outlet tester. It doesn't have the GFI one. I rec recommend one of those uh, GFI tester ones. And let's just go ahead and talk a bit more about the acceptable outlet today. Uh, the acceptable outlet has a hot side, a neutral side, and a so ground. And by the way, you got your uh, hot side uh, screws and your brass cutter screw or your silver kind of screws. And the reason why I do not like using the push-in connectors is over time these push-in connectors can come loose. By the way, this is only designed for a 14 gauge wire. If you, I would recommend always using the proper, uh, proper screws. Same thing like you do with a switch and also a GFI. Stuff like that. That's proper just proper wire thing correctly on your plugs itself because that's what you need to be able to make sure your outlet is working properly. This is a very inexpensive tool. I think every homeowner should have this type of tool in the house to test and making sure when you are correctly having everything correctly wired up. And by the way, how many plugs do I have down in my garage? Well, actually, I have a total of uh, four down here. Uh, two is on the freezer, one's behind the freezer, and it's two over on the outside of the wall. Over there, we just tested the outlet. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go back over here. I just show you what this outlet, this outlet tester can do. And there's the outlet over here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. That's all it does. Just tests the outlet. And you can test the bottom as well. Just to make sure it's properly grounded. And it should be properly grounded because if it's not, you could have open ground or a mix kind of cuddles here. That works pretty good on that side. And this outlet tester works for any type of a separate core inside the house as well. Plug on, push all the way in. And there you go. So these are pretty good outlet tester. The outlet tester is a very good device to have in your house and also testing your equipment as well. By the way, testing out your outlets, let's talk about some of the features this outlet tester can do. This outlet tester has a open hot, that would be a little open hot here. Open neutral would be this guy here. Open hot would be completely no lights. A hot and ground would be this light and this light. A open hot and neutral or mixed neutral and hot would be this one. And if you have a correct and you have a common, it would be the two little lights on the top. And by the way, this is a, a pretty cheap little tool to have with your electrical projects. If you're going to be changing your outlets, I'd recommend get an electrician and the electrician can come in, change the outlets for you and have it properly installed for you guys. If you're just going to change this yourself, I'd recommend buy one of these before you take one of these out of your box, just to make sure you are actually properly hooking it up <coughs> the right way like it's supposed to. Because if you don't, then you end up can end up uh, shocking yourself or your friends and your family. It can be quite dangerous for your house and stuff. I'd also recommend this for your friends as well, for your family and friends. Just to make sure that you want to do electrical work. I experience electrical myself. I do very good at it with my history and my background and stuff like that. By the way, I am not a certified electrician. By the way, I just do this stuff to able to fix my own stuff uh, when I make stuff and build lamps and stuff like that. I don't touch the electrical system in my house, by the way. I let a photo electrician do that and he's properly trained and properly Guild with the safety type of gear he has. Me, I don't have that type of gear to make sure I am completely safe without touching any type of dangerous stuff in electrical systems. An electrical system is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that does that mean. Well, if you have an outlet, okay, if you don't know what circuit it would be on, go and find your circuit panel. My circuit panel is over here. By the way, I would recommend testing each circuit, turning off each vehicle of the house, but I'm not going to mess around with the service panel here. You see, that's just kind of what my service panel looks like, by the way. And this one here is a heater dryer or the heater, uh, heater circuit that's just taped off because we don't actually use that one. That one is activated off. And this is what I recommend doing if you're going to be testing your equipment in your house. I'd always recommend having one of these lovely GFI or test or sale. It would also work with GFI. It doesn't have a GFI button on it, but it will still work just fine like it's supposed to. That's all your plug-in is in your three grounded outlet. This would also work with a two grounded outlet, but... You have to have an on adapter for it. This is a very nice little tool to have on testing all your outlets inside your house. Anywhere you go, and if you're doing projects or you're doing outlet projects, I recommend this tool. I recommend to have it because it's inexpensive, it's very cheaply. Uh, and is like maybe five bucks. You can get this done at Walmart, I've seen this at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, any own different types of stores. 
Okay, guys, I hope you, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, please leave a comment below if you want to know more about my review of my Tesla. Alright, guys, please like, please share. Peace out, guys. Bye. I will see you in the next vlog.